looking like fall. We just have to uh, get it feeling like fall and the autumnal equinox two days away officially happens at 743 Sunday morning. That's when fall starts. That's exactly the time when the sun will be directly over the equator. Now equinox is Latin for equal nights, and that means that we get as much daylight as we do nighttime, but it's not exactly happening for us on Sunday. It actually changes a little bit. So why do we have shorter days? Well, after Sunday, the Earth will be tilted away from the sun, so the sun's rays will be directly over the southern hemisphere for their summertime. Our shortest day happens when the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn, and that happens December 21st, which is the winter solstice. Get this between now and the shortest day of the year, we lose 131 minutes of daylight. So the shorter days they are ahead today. We get 12 hours and 11 minutes. September 26, we get just under 12 hours, which is when we have our equal day and equal night. And then as we head again towards December 21st, 10 hours worth of daylight. So fall brings change. Shorter days bring color changes because less daylight actually cues plants to stop or slow photosynthesis, which is what gives plants their green shade. Uh, and this also helps bring the natural colors out. Think the yellows, the reds, the oranges. The fall is also the second wettest season here in North Texas. On average, the fall months do see over nine and a half inches of rain, but it brings the biggest temperature change. When we're looking at averages, September 1st, the high 93, November 30th, the high 62. That's a 31 degree temperature drop in averages, which is the highest that we see in a given year. So again, we just got to get, you know, the uh, weather to catch up, Mark.